Good morning. Today's topic is epic drumming disasters. We're going to be watching some drumming fails and reacting to how well these drummers recovered from those failures. In any live performance situation, there is a lot of unexpected stuff that can go wrong. And in this video, we're gonna be watching some really weird and very unexpected stuff. But before we get into this, make sure that you click that subscribe button. We are almost at the goal of 69,420 subscribers. And also, if you don't mind, please click that like button. Okay, this first disaster is really, really stupid and should definitely not have ever happened. So this is the West Point band field music group called the Hellcats. Now these guys are the best in the business. These military musicians have years and years of experience and they go through a rigorous audition process just to get the spot in the Hellcats. And it would take some kind of crazy situation for these guys to make a mistake that they could not recover from such as getting a freaking axe thrown at you in the middle of a performance. Yes, this is an axe, sharpened and ready to cut down a tree if it wanted to, and it gets hurled through the air and strikes drummer Jeff Prospery and injures his arm. And this could have went way, way worse, and he was made a full recovery from those injuries and actually went on to do an interview a few minutes later. But what the hell? <laughs> Who's out there chucking axes at people? So this was a story on Fox and Friends from the Fox News Channel. They were doing a report that involved the axe throwing competition and this news anchor here, apparently he wasn't supposed to throw the axe at this point, but he did and he missed the target completely, threw it all the way over and struck Jeff Prospery. And somehow the Hellcats still continued this performance after the axe struck their fellow drummer. And this is just so ridiculous that this even happened in the first place. Like, why would you, why would you have the musicians behind the target? Proper safety procedures were clearly not followed or considered whatsoever. And apparently flying projectiles can be a serious issue in any kind of band setting, such as in this next video here. Yeah, it looks like that bass drum mallet struck that poor woman in the eye, and yeah, that was pretty bad if she had to run off the stage. Now, the, the gentleman playing the bass drum, he ends up going off the stage to check on his friend, but after making sure, you know, his music is turned to the right page, like, that's way more important. I really hope that she turned out okay, because that could have been pretty bad if that hit her in the eyeball. I actually had something kind of similar happen to me in middle school. I was playing the bass drum very loudly, and the mallet head actually came shooting off of the mallet like it broke because it was a really old and crappy mallet and ended up like flying across the room and landed in my friend's lap and it was actually really hilarious which is the perfect segue to our next category of videos equipment failures so this happens pretty often to marching percussionists like you have your harness set up with all these like nuts and bolts and there's a very high chance that some will come loose if you don't properly maintain it constantly and i've had stuff break all the time luckily never during an actual performance which is not so fortunate for some of these people. Here we have the Cavaliers Drum and Bugle Corps doing their encore performance in 2006 after they won the DCI Championships. Yeah! Yeah, honestly, that was a pretty epic equipment failure. Like, that guy overhyped the release so bad that his drums just flipped up and off the harness. And honestly, like, since it was the encore performance, like, not being judged, it's like, oh, like, whatever, it doesn't matter, it's not finals. <laughs> But here we have Carolina Crown 2014. This is finals. So this poor snare drummer, his drum just falls off of him in the middle of finals. This is the competition you've been working on all summer. And this was super lucky that nobody tripped over this drum. Like, look how close this tether player came to tripping on the drum. But this actually turned out really, really cool. So the percussion judge grabbed the drum and ran all the way over to this member and gave him his drum back so he could finish out the show. So this video here was taken from Disneyland and these are some toy soldier snare drummers and this routine is actually pretty awesome. And everything's going fine until this happens right here. 
So if you look closely, not only did his snare drum fall off, the mechanism attaching the drum to the harness also broke off. So yeah, it's basically impossible to get the drum back on at this point, unless you have like a toolkit available. But this recovery is actually really good. So the guy, he walks over and hands the drum to, I, I guess, another worker, and just stays in character and admires the other three that are still out there performing. And these three snare drummers just continue to act out the show like nothing went wrong, and it went fine, it was great. And that's what you gotta do sometimes in a performance. If something goes horribly wrong, disaster happens, you gotta improvise and figure it out. The show must go on. Such as in this video here of a middle school band. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this. This video went super viral a few years ago. So this is something that has also happened to me, thankfully never in a concert, but sometimes the cymbal strap will come loose if you don't like inspect and tighten it. So that's what happened to him. His cymbal strap came loose, cymbal fell off, and made a huge crash on the ground. But what do you do? You render a salute like a boss. And yes, concert percussion can be as disastrous, if not worse, than marching percussion. Such as here, with this triangle player. That is another common thing that happens with triangles. Like, you got this little, tiny, very thin string that's holding up the triangle, and that crap breaks constantly. Luckily, it never happened to me during a performance. But this guy wasn't as fortunate. And not only did his triangle break, it broke in the middle of a rest, and the triangle smashed into the music stand, and then the floor, when nothing else was happening. But he did the best thing he possibly could, he just kept a straight face, I mean, <laughs> as straight of a face that you can keep when that happens, and just kinda acted like nothing happened, and that he didn't do anything wrong. Okay, moving on to this poor timpanist here. He had a serious page turn malfunction. So yeah, that was pretty bad, but I think he made a really good recovery. So the music wouldn't turn and then it fell off the stand onto his drum, but he just kept going like nothing was wrong. And he was pro enough to know what came next in the music without reading it. When you rehearse stuff enough, you'll have it memorized, even if you don't think you do have it memorized. And I'm sure a few bars later, when he got an opportunity, he picked the music back up and got back into reading it. Okay, so that was quite a lot of gear malfunctions, but what happens if all of your gear doesn't make it to the show, which is what happened last week to Rhythm X. Their equipment truck broke down and they did not have any of their drums for the show. The only instruments that came with them on the bus were the cymbals and a set of bongos. So here's what they did. Their very special performance for one time only, a crashy bongo. Ladies and gentlemen, And this amazing performance earned them the world record lowest score ever, 29.75. For some reason, the visual judge didn't like the show, and they got 11.15 points in penalties. I'm assuming for being way under time. But they still earned a spot in finals later that day, when finally their equipment truck was able to catch up to them. Then they performed their show that they'd been actually rehearsing for several months. And they got first place with a score of 82.6. Like I've been saying this whole video, recovery is key. You gotta get creative sometimes and figure something out. And the Crashy Bongo show actually reminded me of this other indoor drumline show, believe it or not, entitled The Best Drumline Show Ever. This was from 2007. I think they had some kind of similar issue because all they did was have their tenor line, a couple of snare drummers just walking around without playing, and this random person just talking in French. And the person would just say some random thing that no one understood, then the tenors would play a lick and repeat that for five minutes. Okay, this next disaster is pretty disgusting, I'm gonna warn you. So, so far everything's going great. Like, this was actually a really good drum solo until, uh-oh.
So yeah, he pretty much took leave it all out there to the literal sense. But just look at this. Right after he recovers from puking up his guts, he gets right back into it. Picks up the groove like nothing happened. And of course, we gotta include some people falling down on this list. Now, falling down with a drum on, that is super awkward and never really ends well. And yeah, that looked really bad, and he's just laying there motionless. That's probably not a good idea to do that, because I'm sure a lot of the people in the audience legitimately thought that he was injured. But he wasn't, he gets up and takes a bow for everyone, and honestly, that's probably the best thing you can do at that point. Like, there, there's no real good recovery from that, you just gotta play it off. Unless you do something as stupid as this. Like, I don't even know what this guy is doing. Rumors spreading around down in Texas Like, bro, you realize there's a drum set right there, right? You can just drum on that. You don't need to be drumming on the random crap that's all around the tent. Down in Texas sound. Okay, the video cut off there. I really hope that this guy was okay. That looked really painful. And our last drumming disaster. This one is really strange, but epic. So this is a Tommy Lee drum solo. He had this giant contraption built where his drum set was basically attached to a roller coaster that went above the audience and he was doing flips while drumming. And this is pretty freaking awesome, honestly. And I would totally try this. Until this happened. It got stuck in the upside down position. So what do you do when you're stuck upside down like 50 feet in the air? Probably freak out and panic. Well, not Tommy Lee. He keeps playing for a while until he kind of realizes what happened. And then he just starts making jokes. What the f It looks like the f***ing roller coaster's broken. You guys look f***ing crazy upside down, by the way. Yeah, this is a ridiculous and weird situation, but Tommy Lee kept his cool and kept the audience entertained while these dudes climbed up and tried to fix it for him, and they eventually got him down. Did we break the sh I guess we broke it. Okay, so that's all the drumming disasters I got for you guys today, but have you ever had a disaster happen to you? Compose a comment below and let me know. And also make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that liberty bell and click that like button. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt such as this one. I will leave that link in the description. And have a good morning.